Hi everyone, so it's finally time to put my ECX barrage motor in my deadbolt. There's nothing wrong with the motor in this. I just want to switch it out because I know the one in this isn't going to last all that long and I would like a little bit more torque with the weight on here. So this is going in. I finally got the drill bit that I needed to do it. So let's start. Now I am going to try and do a couple other mods while I'm in here taking this apart. So first we're going to start off with taking the battery tray off. Actually I think I'm going to pull the box out. Now take these four screws out. And that pops off. So that's the first part. Unplug the motor. Now there's a screw up here. You want to undo this one. And we're going to put that off to the side so we know where it goes. And then both of these screws. And the tranny pulls right off now when you get one of these you'll see there's oil on that I actually used finish line bicycle chain lube wet lube for this and it really smoothed it out so next we got to take the spur cover off the screws are on the back of the motor plate And that'll pop off. So here's the gears you have inside. And we got to take the spur gear off in order to get to the motor screw. Okay, so the easiest way I found to do this is to take some needle nose pliers and simply rotate your spur and then we have to take the drive line off which is the same size screw as basically everything else just pull off now that'll pull off we'll put that with the cover we will put this over here okay now we can get to the motor bolts now we gotta switch over to a different size this wrench is 0 .05 and we need to go over to one point five so your standard pinion size Didn't mean to bump you. Okay, so there's an issue. You can't just bolt this right in because the screw holes are opposite. So I'm going to make a template off camera and then I have to drill the right holes to put this on here. So I'll be back here in just a so second. 
I have to take the motor plate off. You want to take these screws out. And they're pretty easy to tell the difference because they are actually longer screws. I don't know how well my camera's focusing on all this. Kind of hard to see the screen from where I'm at. And there we go, motor plates off. Right there. And it is metal. So I'll be back after I make a template and probably drill these holes. And if you see, the drill bit I got is the perfect size. I'll tell you what size it is in a second. I have to grab the uh, paper that was on it. Okay everyone, now that I have my holes drilled, you can see there, one's off a bit, but it'll be fine. And I had to flip the pinion around on the barrage motor to make it work. But now we're going to put it back together real quick. And I'll probably fast forward through most of this. This part on these can be a little bit tricky because you can't really tighten the spur down until you have the pinion set right. You'll also notice on the spur here this side sticks out further than this side and the side that sticks out more goes down. So we gotta wiggle it in there. And now I like to do mine by feel. You want just a little bit of rock. So right there feels about right. And unfortunately, this gets snagged because of that pinion. So, Now put the nut back on. And that feels really good. can still adjust it a little bit. I do run my mesh just a little tight. The teeth will wear in. You just can't tighten it super tight. There 
Yeah, that seems good. Alright. So now we just need to put the cover back on and you don't need to see how that works. Simple, you just pop this back on and put the screws in. So I will get back on camera once I put this back in here and then I'm going to attempt to flip it so that the weight of the motor is forward and modify the battery tray to sit down low because being the motor is going to be up front here I can't really do the low center of gravity battery in the front but the extra weight added with my weight on my front axle there should help compensate and lowering the battery is going to help with the uh, side hilling and stuff quick little update I did have to drill a little hole to clear the motor shaft but I got it my spur is a little warped that's why it sounds like that but yeah so that's done if I don't like it I'll put the stock uh, pinion on here but I think I'll have to glue it because it's kind of a loose fit so yeah let me get this on here okay. so we got the motor installed and that's how it would be normally now if you're gonna keep your stock you would have to cut this foot off in order to put this motor in here but I'm not keeping mine stock so I'm gonna do a couple changes okay so that's it for part one I'll see you in part two where we will be flipping the transmission and also lowering the battery tray I had to split it into two parts because it just got too long and I didn't really want to edit and upload a 25 minute video but I will be uploading part two right after this so stay tuned and keep an eye on my channel if you want to see how that goes that's it for now TTFN